Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Aliens vs. Predator Requiem Xenomorph Warrior. It's just your cannon fodder. It's the ones that just, you know, get blown away right away type of thing. Uh, but it's another Xenomorph. It's a classic Xenomorph for the most part, and I think a lot of people are into that sort of thing. So we're going to look at it. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about four and three quarter inches, give or take, and that's going to make him roughly, and eh, we'll say 12 centimeters. That's about right. And here he is up against a Marvel Legends figure. Just to remind you guys how much smaller these figures are than what you're used to me reviewing. Despite the incredible amount of detail, they are quite small. All right, so quick question of the day. Do you prefer your Xenomorphs with legs like this or when they have the digitigrade legs like this one. I am personally a fan of Xenomorphs having the extra bend in the leg. I'm not a huge fan of the classic big chap type aliens. It's okay. It to me is just less interesting. It makes them less alien. So I like the extra bend. I know a lot of people like the classic two, two sets of long bones. The one here and two here type of leg. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, it's your go-to Xenomorph. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. It's your standard sculpt. Lots of detail work sculpted throughout. Dry brushed in a grayish, greenish, bluish color on top of black. And it's very glossy. We have silver teeth. Glossy dome. Uh, no claws painted, unfortunately. So that's going to be a knock. But otherwise, it's just your standard dry brush paint job with, again, the glossy right there. The uh, sculpt is wonderful. Can't complain about that. The inside of the mouth. The little mouth in there is also painted. It's a little tricky to get to sometimes, but it can be done. There you go. The little teeth are painted, so that's nice. I like that. So aesthetically speaking, it's not an impressive release from them, but it is a good one. So I'll go eight out of 10. It looks like it's supposed to. For accessories, we have the two grippy hands that come on them in the package, two wide open hands, and then the display stand and clips. Nothing going there, that's it. So five out of 10. For articulation, the head and neck are one piece on a ball peg, not a ton of range. They have the head like sitting over the body and I think what they should do is have it cut into the body and that would probably give them a little bit more wiggle room. <laughs> no pun intended, I did intend it. Very limited range all the way around. Shoulders though have lots of range. That's no problem at all. Full rotation, no bicep swivel until you get down to the elbow, which is just a single jointed elbow. So 90 degrees there, but that's where you're gonna get your rotation. Wrists are on a little tiny ball peg. Ball peg, I said heg? I am losing my mind, not sleeping. This baby is destroying my brain. Okay, so uh, very limited range in the torso. Side to side is pretty good, forward and back is nothing. Rotation is also pretty limited. Hinged ball pegs for the hips, not in love with that. They really serve no purpose. Like you can bring the legs up pretty high, I guess, but do you need to? I don't know. But the hinges are loose and they are never a good design choice for anything humanoid, if you ask me. I don't like them. And uh, this is a good example because they're loose and they are finicky. Going out to the side, you get virtually zero range, like almost literally none. Uh, you saw going forward, that's fine. That's without the hinge. With the hinge, you can get it up a little higher. Um, so that's good, I guess. Going back is fine, but it goes at an angle. Thigh swivel is in there, so that's good. Double jointed knee, slight ratcheting going on. Uh, not a ton of range, but I guess that's enough. It'll be fine, but it's definitely not a lot. And then for the ankle, it goes pretty far back, all the way forward, and you get a decent ankle rocker, so that's nice. That'll help posing a lot. Uh, but you can't bring the hips out, so not that much, I guess. Lastly, we have the tail, which bends really nice. The plastic is soft, the wire is strong. The wire does stop too early, if you ask me. It stops right there. So that kind of sucks, but otherwise it's a really nice bendy tail. So yeah, it's not like an impressive release from them, but it is a good enough release from them. I want to note, this arm appears to be on a ball peg that's longer than normal. This one, <laughs> this one doesn't do that. None of the other ones that have been on this body do that, but this one seems to like to wiggle around. It's not popping out. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's not on a ball peg. It just, it just wasn't in all the way. Oh, okay. Not going to make any jokes there. 
I'll have to peg that in later with a hair dryer. You know what? I might have actually popped it out because his mouth was crooked when I took him out of the package, just from the packaging. So I heated him up, and I might have done that to the shoulder when he was soft. So that might be my bad. But yeah, that'll just peg right back in. So yeah, articulation. Uh, it's only going to be like a six. It doesn't pose that well. It's fine, but it's 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 whatever. Okay, time for the final verdict on this release. It's a standard release. Nothing special. Solid Xenomorph, looks good, great sculpt, good paint job, articulation is enough, I guess, to get by, accessories just enough to get by. I'm gonna give it a final verdict of seven out of 10. If you're into the line, go ahead and pick it up. Doesn't hurt to have any more cannon fodder, um, but it's not like any kind of incredible thing where you're gonna be super upset if you can't find it or something like that. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is okay too. And if you haven't subscribed, you could. I have new videos every day but Wednesday and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.